Tmux 2's tree is a powerful Tmux utility that provides a graphical interface to preview all sessions, panes, and windows, move between them, kill them, and move them around, and much more. Uh, by default, there's a E binding for prefix S. We'll do a choose tree with uh, sessions collapsed. Uh, my preferred key binding, though, is uh, to do a bind key J, uh, so it'll be on the J key. Um, and then choose tree with sessions, windows, uh, collapsed and fully zoomed in. Uh, as you can see in the snippet of this man page here from Tmux, there are a lot of key bindings for it. If I do my control space J, this is what Tmux choose tree looks like. We can see here we've got a preview of the session down below and a list of all of our sessions. Uh, if we look here at my username, we can see that it has uh, two windows open. We hit L, that opens it, H closes it, and we can dive further in here and we see that this uh, one uh, pane is split and we can see each of the splits. Um, we can go ahead and do things like uh, run a command. So if I hit colon, I can do kill dash pain, and it will kill that pain. If I do, let's do a mark. If I hit M, that will mark it. Capital M unmarks it. So if I do a, a capital M, and this is on my Tmux configuration, I can move that to my scratch window. So do another colon, uh, and then do a join dash pain, and that will move that down into my scratch. You can see it here. Uh, if we open it up, we can then we can go right into it. Um, and then go control space J, gets us back to choose tree. I can go back to uh, my username. Uh, what else can we do? We can search, so if I do a uh, forward slash, I can search for something like Kedro, and it'll take me straight to my Kedro diff uh, window here. I can open it with enter. Um, yeah, that's about it. So control space J for me, and I can go back into uh, the post here. You can see there's all sorts of uh, all sorts of key bindings and flags for opening it up in various ways. Uh, but super cool built in.